Now let us go and create a queue. For that I'll click on the queue here and we need to fill some information. So I'll say first queue and you can select the size how much you want it max queue size there are various options available let's just keep 1 GB max delivery count I'll keep it as 3 so what does this mean it will try to send the message 3 times after that it will send the message to the dead letter Q and you can change it from 1 to 2000 next is the message time to live so default is 14 days you can change it basically it means how long if a message is not retrieved by a receiver it should be there in the queue after that again it will move into dead letter Q. Log duration it means whenever a receiver is trying to retrieve the message how long there should be a lock on the message after that after a period of time it will automatically be removed that means uh, that is a log duration default it is 30 seconds next is the enable auto delete on the idle queue if a message is there for a configurable amount of time on a queue and not being retrieved it will be auto delete if you select this option Next is enable duplicate detection. What it will do if there are similar message, it will not accept that. Next is enable dead letter queue. So if the message is expired or if there is an issue with the message, message should automatically be moved to the dead letter queue. If you select this, then is the enable partitioning. You can partition your queue. Enable sessions, it means uh, this is needed if you are going to implement a chat so that it should remember uh, the conversation which is happening between the two users there it, we need to use that then is the forward message to queue and topic you can select if any message is coming by default it should go to this particular queue or topic so i am going with the default options let us just click on create now the queue is created for that let me click on queue here on this left side and it should show me the name of the first queue which we have just created let us click on that so I'm inside the queue which we have created now whatever the configurations we have done at the time of creations those are coming here max delivery count is 3 you want you can change that current size since there is no message it's 0 maximum size it can hold is 1 GB message time to live is 14 days these are the other things which are which we have set at the time of creations now first thing what we want to do here is we have to create the shared access policy basically we have to create the connection string for that I have clicked on shared access policy then click on add then give the policy name I will say connection string whatever the access you want to give you can select that let me click on manage click create and it will go and create this policy for us now the connection string is created let me click over there and it will just show us the primary key here and other things also the primary connection things let me copy that now we are ready a queue is created now we are ready to send the message to this service bus queue